Hi there. So in this tutorial, we will discuss how you can use Zoho Bug Tracker. Zoho offers free access to their around 23 apps. Bug Tracker is one of them. Go to the Zoho.com, then scroll to the bottom, and you will find a link to the Bug Tracker. You can also sign up and then access your apps. by clicking on this button after that you will go inside your dashboard from where you can choose the apps then click on all the apps you'll find here bug tracker okay let's just click on try now Then it will redirect you to Soho Docs. From there, you can go to Bug Tracker or you can just manually go to Bug Tracker link from bugtracker.soho.com. Just before you are going to create your own bug tracker database it will ask you for company name type name of your company for me it's Delnami then let's create new portal and you will have address bugtracker.soho.com slash portals and slash name of your company then slash again it will automatically log in you because you're the admin the more users you add to your bug tracker you can set your location for me it's GMT plus 5 because I'm in India so let's go with Calcutta time to that type of industry which is IT for me because I am into software testing so it is computer and software then contact number you can just submit the current and get inside now what you will have here is your project name let's say app tests then project is aim of our project is to test the apps and notify the companies for their performance months and usage status and tests okay this project to overview by default <coughs> then let's make it public portal users can view and follow now click on that now as you can see current no feed is there because there are no bugs let's add a milestone test Android app for version 4.5 click on submit then it will be updated to our feed and this will be shown to all the users who have access to our bug tracker now if you have any bug then just click on bug icon then report your first bug click on the link and type and write kitkat bug not resolved for to do list app now here to do list app shows 
error while saving data on Android KitKat. Now, if you have any attachments, then you can attach here. Is the bug reproducible? Yes. Or you can see always or sometimes. Let's go for always. Then classification of this bug is data loss. Then assign to no specific person. So I will just add my own name. And flag is internal. Related milestone is name of our current milestone then due date should be next month or next day which module is there our current project is app test so module should be that severity is major now save it now you will find that our feed has this new bug as well okay you'll find this bug information immediately after this having of data go to the dashboard you'll find two feeds one is bug and one is milestone you will also find how many bugs are open in this chart 100% open okay your email alias will be here so if you want to send a bug report or bug you just have to use this email and file your bug add you can add status add bug upload document and add to form you can also go with the documents related to your tests and share it with other testers have a time sheet so you can track your time spent on tests then there are forums which we can use to discuss the box and we can post over there also we can add and remove users so right now it is only me I can add by clicking on add user also import user from another project or from CRM or mail suit so if you if your users are included in CRM or Zoho mail then they can be imported here also the client users to view can be added here by clicking on add client company and then also using the import from CRM with which you can import the contacts okay so this is pretty much the overview of Zoho bug tracker if you have any questions related to the usage of bug tracker do let me know the basic functionality is pretty much the same like most of the bug trackers all you have to do is go to the bug and file the bug or create milestone or create bug report and change sets these five features are what we are supposed to use while tracking and managing our bug database if you have multiple users on your bug tracker then using this will be much easier and you get the idea of how bug tracking will be done hope this tutorial is helpful and i'll see you later